Good morning, good evening. It is 5 pm on Monday, the 26th of September. Just on my way home from a day's work. This video is actually going to be starting tomorrow. I'm just doing a bit of an intro today. I'm just on my way home. Um, the video is all going to be about the boosted board, or mostly about the boosted board version 2, which is currently sat in Stansted Airport right now with FedEx waiting to be delivered up to me tomorrow morning at some point. So that is an exciting thing. Looking forward to that. Can't wait to get out and do the test ride tomorrow. Can't wait to do the unboxing as well. I think I'll do an unboxing video of it as well for the guys that are waiting on their second booster board to come, or their version 2 booster board. Uh, tonight, I've just got to head over to my in-laws, over to my in-laws' house. Uh, my motorbike's been sat there for a few days now, my Harley Davidson. And I got a text message when I landed saying that it looks like someone might have either attempted to steal it, have a look if it is stealable or not. The, uh, the ignition flap on the tank, if you're familiar with the modern Harleys, uh, was open when they came down this morning and it was closed and I left it there. So clearly someone's been along and had a tamper with it. So I'm just going to get home, get changed, get the helmet, head out, pick up the Harley. And then this video will probably continue tomorrow when the booster board arrives. FedEx vehicle for delivery, 6.59 this morning. The booster board version two is on its way to me. Time to get up, get some breakfast. Morning world. Been insanely tracking the board for the last couple of days. Okay, I need to stop looking out the window incessantly. Um, gonna go shower, so let's switch to camera view while I'm showering so we don't miss the guy. Ooh, boost the board. Okay, it turns out that wasn't the boosted board. My heart sank when I saw the regular postman. Um, we're still waiting on FedEx. But he did bring me a package, which has come from America, I believe. It says, goods not fulfilling the conditions laid down by Articles 20 and 29 of the Treaty of the Functioning of... Ah, I remember what this is. One of my previous videos, I asked somebody to so ask people if they could send me a link to any camera gear so I could mount the uh, iPhone in the different positions in the car because I was struggling with some of the mounts I've got. And uh, what I was after was a big crocodile clip. And there we go, a big crocodile clip. So with that and that and that, I should now be able to mount the phone wherever I want, take some uh, different angles. So cool. What we really want though is the boosted board. So back to jobs. Hopefully that'll turn up soon. Still no sign of him yet. Come on, FedEx. Hey, it's arrived. Woohoo! Good timing, well, my you man. Let's get a video of that. There it is. Excellent. You can't take them. You can't. Here we are. This is taking some effort. Yeah. There we go. Wow. Ah. One booster board version two. So I'm just doing the edit on this video and I realised I cut off from picking up the bike to straight to the morning with the booster board and didn't really finish the bike part of things. Um, got a bit distracted when I got home with the family and had things going on. Turns out the bike was fine. All it was was where my uh, dash cam on my motorbike is. There's a little flap that opens to take the camera out. I opened it and took the camera out when I left the bike there and they thought that that's what had been opened um, during the night. So turns out it was me that opened it. They just weren't sure. But Anyway, bike's back safe and sound in the garage, as you'll see from the boosted video, so back to the video. So I'm not going to do a massive unboxing video about all the contents and stuff like that, because I'm guessing that most people that have ordered one of these have seen one before, they've already got a version 1, or they've already watched a dozen videos on YouTube with unboxing videos of the recent ones that have come out, like I have. Uh, so we all know what's inside, I've already opened it up once, we've obviously got the board, box with all the bits in. <clears throat> 
the remote with lanyard fitted, the guide, the charger, board is already fully charged, it came fully charged, spare lanyard, booster board stickers, which I'm not sure where I'm going to put yet, and then the charging cable for the remote. So that is the contents. What I haven't seen anyone else do yet, and what I am curious about myself, is uh, everybody says this one's got a bit more torque and it sustains the high speed better. Uh, I've not got time to do a big in-depth review of the board riding it today. What I have got time to do is an acceleration test. And uh, the only way to do a fair acceleration test to see whether it is more powerful off the start is to compare it to the version 1 board. What I plan to do, what I plan to do is start from a fixed point on the road on the version 1 booster board, time myself to a fixed point, go back and do the exact same thing on the version 2. They're both fully charged, they've both got brand new belts on because uh, I've recently changed these ones so comparatively they should be about the same. So let's just get out there and let's see which one's quicker. Should I put a stand on the door or just close this? Sure. So, safety first with the helmet. There we go. My good friend Andy's doing the video in today. There we are. Let's head Indeed. up to the road. First ride of the version 2 booster board in the UK. Dry enough, it's a little bit damp further down, but I'll. Uh, 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 you're back up. There it goes. I don't actually know what mode it's on, but it's pre mode <laughs> or amateur the minute, so we'll see. Settings. That's beginner mode. Right. Amateur. <laughs> Advanced. He's done this before. Pro mode. Right, that's right in pro, pro mode. mode. Let's go. First words of the version two. It's tight. Okay. I can tell it's not as loose as my version one board at the minute, but uh, it's definitely a lot torquier. Torquier. There's a lot more torque to the motor. The brakes did seem a little bit weaker down there, but then they seem a lot stronger up here. So we'll see as I get used to it. But yeah, it's good. I'm running there. Sweet. I'm happy. Impressed. Good little board. It's a version one booster board first. Somebody's very handily painted me a nice start line there, and then we're going to ride just up to the start of the speed bump. So when the wheels hit the front of the speed bump, that's when I'll stop the recording. I'll stop the timer. Okay, 13.73 seconds for the version 1, just right into the start position on the version 2. The version 2 definitely does not turn as easy as the version 1 yet. I don't know if that's because the truck's in you or if I just need to loosen off the bolt. But it's definitely harder to three-point turn it. Okay, back at the start line. That was my neighbour. He's wondering what the hell I'm doing. Right, here we go. 3, 2, 1. 13.53 seconds, so exactly two tenths of a second quicker on the version 2 than the version 1. Um, yeah, so it's a little bit quicker, not much in it. There shouldn't really be much in it because they're the same batteries and say, well, different motors, but 0.2 seconds. Okay, that concludes the speed test. The version 2 is definitely a little bit quicker. Other thoughts on the boards, the version 2 is definitely a lot more stable to ride. That's, that's without shadow of a doubt. Uh, the wheels absolutely absorb the um, the road a lot better. I guess that's probably the inner core that they fitted the green core. Uh, but yeah, a lot, lot smoother to ride than the version 1. So, uh, big plus on that. Yeah, good board.
I don't really have time to do a full review today uh, video so I'm just going to put together the little speed test and the bits from this morning and then hopefully maybe tomorrow I'll get out and get another proper uh, day on the board and tell you my uh, my thoughts after some proper riding but initially it's definitely a better ride, it's definitely a little bit quicker uh, it needs to loosen up a little bit, I need to maybe loosen the trucks off a bit to get a bit more lean in the corners because I can't corner as well as the version 1 at the minute but um, yeah, there's my version 2, first one in the UK possibly, not the first one ridden in the UK but I'd say I'm definitely one of a few owners in the UK to have one right now so any questions on the importing and stuff like that leave a comment below and I'll answer what I can but they are possible to get in the UK you just need to pay a little bit more than retail at the minute anyway that's it for me I'm gonna put everything away now and uh, finish my evening so have a good uh, what is it it's Tuesday today have a good rest of your week and I will see you for the next video bye bye here's a quick PS moment the uh, battery cover that everybody has been saying has been failing on the version 2 booster board there is it open that's how it looks and then if I just close it again there we go yeah um, that's come all the way from California actually it's come all the way from Texas it went from Texas with UPS to California and then from California to here Chesterfield England by FedEx the cover was open when I picked the board up out of the box so it's traveled I don't know what is that 5,000 miles and the covers not come open being banged around in the side aircraft I've also done about five minutes riding today on speed bumps and stuff like that and it was still closed so I'll see what it's like after the next ride but at the minute it's worked so hopefully it stays that way. That was my PS moment. <laughs> That's why Casey Neistat's put a big arrow on his to show which way's forwards. Damn it, I need to do that.